We're commentating on Truro City against Maidstone United. Just to, to put it in context, Maidstone is actually about 35 miles closer to Gloucester than Truro is. So, um, basically, if you've been following the saga, if you looked at uh, the start of the season, Truro, who are still building their ground actually in Cornwall itself, shared with Plymouth Parkway for the season. Um, after Christmas, they got a little bit fed up with Plymouth's constant postponements and uh, the, the pitch wasn't very good. But unfortunately, their solution was to go to Taunton, which, um, to be quite honest, was worse. It's, it's, it's sorry, sorry, it's, sorry, it's, sorry it's, it's it's I apologise for my silence, but really, that's all no, I No, oh, it's a commendable silence, Darren, let's be fair to the listeners. It's, uh, it's not the, the quality of output we expect and, and we apologise for this. As uh, Coffinland's goal kick goes um, into the bench, there's quite a strong wind blowing. <laughs> this is the southwest there after is. all. There is, yes. Ball thrown to the Truro right back, hits it forward with his left foot uh, as far as nobody. Paul Appiah and Lucas Coverland get a little bit confused. They're both leaving it to one another, and uh, Neil oh. tries to get in. <laughs> and, uh, so a handball's given against the Truro forward there, unsure yeah, how. Yeah, the ball got went to Coverland, and he hit it against the, the Truro forward. They're, they're pressing Maystone. Maidstone trying to take a little bit more control of out just, of this. Just trying to have a bit more of the ball, Darren. I think it's the most Maidstone have had of it in the first eight minutes or so here, and certainly in an attacking sense now. Tanger pushes the ball towards Fowl. Fowl gets it in that awkward style, and uh, it goes over, but no foul is given, and uh, Truro get the ball forward. It's with Neil. Neil gets it out left to Dan Sullivan, who, apart from the goalkeeper, has uh, played the most minutes over the past week or so, but it's uh, out to Law. Law gets the ball inside, and it's stabbed towards the goal by Porter, but uh, not with any power. But, uh, just I'm, I'm not sure George Ellicobi would be too pleased with this because we no. just need a little bit more, um, a, a, a little bit more out of Maidstone. They have, and uh, he, he will try and have a say in this match, will Will Dean? In, in, indeed. Um, or in all, Dean. I'll, I'll always be wary of anyone called Rooney playing. They're usually quite good day in Tanga. Certainly um, against Maidstone, they are anyway. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, the ball is with uh, Sullivan. Sullivan comes in and great save by Lucas <laughs> Covalan. Well, Sullivan. basically, it's a, there, there was a, a, a lose out there. Sullivan picked up on it and he came forward with the goal, gaping to join him because it's a drop ball. I mean, anybody from Troy can go and contest it if they want to. Finally, Covalan hits it forward. Just uh, taking a little bit of the sting. Headed on by Fowl towards Rush. Rush flicks it towards Corn. Corn comes to the edge of the box. Corn in space. Corn. Hits the post. Tanga with the ball. Tanga hits the bar. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, from having no chances, Maidstone have uh, created probably the two best ones of the game within a few seconds of one yeah, another. Yeah, it was hardly a ball played through. It was sort of rushed, leading into the Truro defenders. About four or five of them waiting for the referee to blow up for a foul. Corns just strode through a la Portman Road and he's dragged it to the keeper's left, his right, hit the post. If you, I mean, everyone would have seen Mo foul by now, but... Uh, yeah, it's another uh, gentle giant as we've had a few of. Yeah, who knows where the goal is? Oh yes, headed on, but he, he heads it actually as far back as it was headed uh, as, as hit to him. And Rafe Brown wins it, but uh, one by Truro in the centre circle. Again, one by Rafe Brown. Ethan Olim just uh, stands off the Truro player because uh, he was going to foul him, and, and Truro promising attack here on the right. Riley Lowe gets the ball inside. Truro player snakes past one player, snakes past two, gets it towards, and that's a goal. Tyler Harvey scores. Great run, and uh, the ball falls to Harvey, and Harvey slots it past Lucas Coverland. Um, you can't say that wasn't coming, can you? No, you can't, Darren. It's a great angled finish from Harvey there, and nothing more than what Truro deserved. Just a bit of persistence on the side of the area and as the ball's been played in Harvey's just taken a touch got it out of his feet and he's poked a beautiful curled arc finish past Lucas Covalan. and Truro will come again the intention was there from class try and spread the play but again the wind managed to hold it up as uh, this kick from Heyman might have something similar he's got a lot more on that one all the way through to the 18 yard box Sullivan gets it and that is a great tackle by Appiah but Sullivan scores 
didn't actually manage to clear the ball. Sullivan got the, the, the second go at it, and that's 2-0 to Truro. It's route one football, Darren, that's punished Maidstone there, and you wonder if Class's ball had been along the ground and not swept up in the wind, and it just sprayed towards Hamer, and he's managed to launch a haymaker to the edge of the pitch. To Rafe Brown, uh, sorry, to uh, Sam Corn. He had Rafe Brown outside him. Chooses uh, Sam Bone inside to Bentley. Bentley plays a little one-two with Class. Class back to Corn in a slightly more advanced position. He's got Tanger out right to him. Uh, decides to play in Rafe Brown. Brown just uh, flicks the ball back to Sam Corn, and it's Class with it. Can he deliver? Plays a one-two with Bentley. Class with the ball on the edge of the area. Hits the ball, and that oh. takes a little deflection, but it takes a sting out of the shot, and Heyman falls on it, and uh, will kick the ball out. Yeah, it's just in front of Wanjal Smith there, and he's just sort of got any sort of toe and any firmer contact, possibly roof of the net job. Uh, Yeovil 3-1 up against Dartford, so very much the final nail in the Dartford coffin confirmed there. Maidstone lose the ball on the edge of Truro's box. Well, trying to uh, come in, it's one-on-one uh, -on -one now, and Rafe Brown will get in there first. <laughs> yes, Ryan Law <laughs> taking him on there, wasn't it? Yeah. Brown in a foot race, 99 times out of 100. It's going to be his to win. Maidstone in possession. Yeah, Tanga to Bone. Rakes the ball out to Adipoku. Adipoku takes the ball on his right foot, but uh, he's losing out. Truro come forward. It's a long, long ball forward towards Harvey. One by Brown, one by Corn push forward, but uh, to nobody in particular. Uh, Adamsbury, basically, and it's... Uh, Actually, one by Neil. Neil comes forward and Bone gets in in front of him to the chagrin of the uh, Truro fans. But uh, he goes down, but uh, no foul. Yeah, no Corn foul. Yeah. Inside to class. Throws it to Riley Lowe. Riley Lowe um, points at Milhardo and will take the throw eventually. And there we go, towards Bone. It's Bone on the shoulder. Oh, he's going to give that. That's a penalty, yep. yeah. <laughs> oh. That was Johnson Fisher tried to get into the box and uh, Rafe Brown just pulled him over and there wasn't really any danger. No. And that's a yellow card for Rafe Brown. Yeah, deservedly so. And it's uh, It goes from bad to worse. It does. And I was going to say it's all over by the shouting and Harvey's got the ball in his mitts. But Brown just all over the back of him and he's just... Tyler Harvey... Um, looks at the ball, Lucas Kovalan on the area, Harvey, and hits it into the opposite corner to the one Kovalan dives, and uh, I think that just about will seal it. <laughs> if it wasn't sealed before, Darren, it's uh, been sealed airtight shut. Truro City will be playing National League South football next season. Maidstone United themselves with this performance falling down the table. <laughs> As Tanger waits to take the corner. Lots of Maidstone players forward. In vain. That's a, a loopy one towards the back post. That's headed, that's in. Help the goal difference. It won't do much for the end result. Well, it won't because uh, there is no time left. But Right on the 90th minute, that one has gone in from Rafe Brown from Tanger's corner. Back to class. Class back to Brown in the centre circle to Fowler Fowler forward towards Rush Rush picks the ball up towards Adupoku tries to get the ball in it's blocked by three Truro players and that will be the end of the game it's finished Truro City 3 Maitstone United 1 and our second visit to Gloucester for a Conference South or Gloucestershire for a Conference South game has uh, ended exactly the opposite to the first one, uh, and we, have, for the first time in our history, I believe we've lost to Truro City.